just try to just bring these things forward that I've learned over the years and try to help people with so that they can affect their own life. And we just have the emergencies and catastrophes to deal with, which I think is really what medicine is about. American medical doctor. I currently practice in Australia. I'm uh, a neurosurgical registrar, so I'm, I'm uh, hoping to be a consultant neurosurgeon someday. And I also have a practice in functional medicine, really, really preventative medicine, where we take a prospective look at people's health and try to head things off before they become a disaster instead of a retrospective look looking at patients when they already have a disaster and we're trying to pick up the pieces, which a lot of medicine is. I've also spent about 25 years studying diet and nutrition, how that affects health and chronic disease, as well as how it affects athletic performance in my own life and, and the performance of uh, my friends and colleagues and, and uh, patients. So I've found that that's one of the strongest tools that I have to affect people's health, certainly from a perspective point of view, but also a retrospective point of view. People that already have diseases, they already have autoimmunity, they already have diabetes, they already have metabolic issues, they already have hormonal disruption, people with very low testosterone, children, teenagers, adults, and elderly adults, they can all be affected by their diet. Women, obviously very uh, important what their hormonal health is. This affects their period, this affects their fertility, this affects when they go into menopause. And I've seen dramatic recoveries, such as women in their 50s who haven't had their period since their 40s, and then they change their diet, they change their lifestyle, and all of a sudden, their hormones are working again, and they come out of menopause, which may be kind of scary to a 55-year-old lady who does not want to get pregnant at 55, but it's just a sign of improved health, massively improved health and then improving their hormones as well. So it's it's one of the most powerful tools that I've seen um, that we can use as doctors. And it goes back to attributed to Hippocrates of let food be thy medicine and medicine thy food. And another thing that was attributed to him, which was before you set out to cure somebody, ask them first if they're willing to give up the thing that's making them sick. And so I think all of these, the those two principles and the principles of optimizing people's nutrition to go hand in hand with optimizing people's health and healing them as a doctor. And that's what I've set out to do. And that's what I've set up my YouTube channel for my YouTube channel and podcast, um, where I just try to just bring these things forward that I've learned over the years and try to help people with so that they can affect their own life and, you know, not, not try to, um, hide this anywhere. I like this to be open. We're like pl platforms like this where anyone can access them and see them and they can, they can take charge of their own life and not, not need us as doctors for retrospective medicine, but you know, only when there's something wrong, there's a, there's an accident, there's an emergency. Doctors are, are wonderful for that. And we have wonderful interventions and medicines for that. And that's very important, but I want to get back to that, but that's the majority of medicine that we're doing. Um, instead of the vast minority, we treat about 90% plus of our cases in medicine these days are metabolic issues, chronic disease issues that don't necessarily need to exist. We address these things with diet and lifestyle interventions and those go away. And then we just have the emergencies and catastrophes to deal with, which I think is really what medicine is about. And, and hopefully we'll get there in my lifetime.